I'm on a boat which might seem unbelievably weird. I'm actually out here looking for snakes. We're on our way to a mangrove habitat. I'm looking for the mangrove pit viper. Keep my eyes filled on the edge of a mangrove forest. Whoa, okay, there's a pit viper in here. Ah, I'm going in. I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bum. See that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Whoa, Up close and personal. And a massive snake! Okay, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated bifin in the water. Come on, let's go. fishing location, the fishing boat location, to find the mangrove pit viper. And I thought, what other species might I be able to find out here that I haven't found yet? And look right here, there's a massive monitor lizard. Look at the size of that, it's almost like the size of a Komodo dragon. He's a whopper. See how close I can get. Look at that tongue going in and out. in the water. Look at that. Oh, that was big. Oh man, that was a big monitor. It's so hard to catch them. They actually, I was no way I could actually catch them. Got really, really sharp, serrated teeth. If it'd bite me, I'd be in bad trouble. It'd rip over my flesh. So obviously there's a lot of different species that are adapted for living in these areas. And the one animal I'm after today is another pit viper species, the mangrove pit viper. To find one, we need to get to some dense mangroves. This fisherman knows just the right boat, driver and place for us to go to. Um. So we're going to be going out into the coastline out here and then just tracking along the mangroves. Those mangroves have evolved to live in this brackish salty water which is providing habitat for many different animals, small sharks, monitor lizards, and also mangrove pit vipers that live up on the higher parts of the branches. We're gonna be using this boat to try and catch one. Oh, I think there's a monitor. Another little monitor lizard. Oh, that's so cool. This is unbelievable. I haven't seen any monitor lizards my whole time in Asia, but I come here into this fishing village and they are everywhere. Look at this little baby one there in the boat. Amazing, I love them. Monitor lizards, they're awesome. this target species is really quite hard. The problem is, mangrove pit vipers are extremely well camouflaged into the bushes. But anyway, we're gonna keep looking up and down this river area, this estuary, and hopefully we'll be able to find what I'm after. Whoa, okay, there's a pit viper in here. I really, really don't wanna lose them. It's literally starting to move into the bushes. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Okay. You see him over there? Ah, I'm going in! <laughs> we came here to find a mangrove pit viper and look here. We've been looking up and down these mangroves. We found our target species. You can hear there, the birds going. They know there's a snake around here. And this one would eat as many birds as he can possibly get. He's there, waiting in this amber, in the ambush position, looking for any single prey item that might be coming along. I need to get, this is really quite a dangerous snake. Really venomous. Whoa. Ooh. 
It's also really windy. Woohoo! Yeah, we managed to get it. The mangrove pit viper. It really is quite remarkable. When you come to the right habitat for certain species, you do manage to find them. And this one, look at that colour. Oh, that mouth is slightly open. I have to be really careful. They strike quickly and you never really know that temperament of what direction they're going to be striking. It really has toxic venom that actually can kill people. It has killed people. So I'm staying outside of that strike zone and away from those pits. Look at that though, amazing using their tail to be able to grab onto anything. And you can see that coloration, how it's actually extremely well camouflaged into that branch coloration there. Really quite amazing. In the middle of a rainforest, you don't get really pit vipers in that coloration. This one is, is unique. Whoa, the snake is starting to look right at me. Why do these pit vipers always try and come down my snake hook like that? They always want to get closer to my fingers. Got the heat seeking pits at the front of his, of his nose there, and he'll be waiting for warm blooded prey to come along. More often than not, right on the edge here is probably a little seabird or a little bird that's coming around, might be nesting in the mangroves. So it will be specifically eating animals that use the mangrove as a refuge area to either nest or just to keep away from the heat. Mangoes are also useful for all sorts of different species. You get baby sharks, baby crocodiles, baby monitor lizards that use these areas as a refuge against any big predators. So out in the big ocean is quite scary, but if you're a baby, you might want to be in here. But the problem is there are predators that have evolved to eat those baby things, including the mangrove pit viper. That was one of the hardest finds. We came to the right area, knew exactly where it was, but to f use a boat in order to catch a snake is one of the most cool ways to do it. And we managed to get it in only one day. It's time to release the snake back where he belongs, in the mangroves. Here we go. The mangroves, what a place. I think maybe an underappreciated habitat. With that comes opportunities for exploration. The chances for discovery are high. Come on, let's see what else is out there. <laughs> <laughs>